A very interesting week in entertainment. Beyonce showed us why she's king this week. Uh, hot off the heels of her incredible spread in GQ magazine, Beyonce has announced plans to release new music with Destiny's Child. It's the first time that they've all gotten together in about eight years. Very cool. Sources are also saying that a Destiny's Child reunion at the Super Bowl could very well be possible. Looking forward to that. The New York Post broke the story this week that most everybody had probably been whispering about for a while. The separation of Lala Vasquez and Carmelo Anthony. Sources say the pair have been living separately for a while. However, Thursday night, Lala put on a really good face and took in the Knicks game. A good way to silence the haters. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, she responded in her own way to the whole uh, KG Honey Nut Cheerio statement by tweeting, We all deserve a check or some free cereal for all the publicity we've given Honey Nut Cheerios. <laughs> uh, Lala, the fact that one's hoo-hoo may smell like a certain brand of cereal is not necessarily how most of us choose our cereal. Okay, Honey Nut Cheerios is probably cringing, I'm sure. Okay. Hey, I heard through the grapevine that Cat Williams is scheduled to do a show in St. Louis soon. Now, we'll have to see if that happens because earlier in the week we learned that Cat was once again a wanted man. The comedian failed to make a court appearance in connection with that police chase thing that he did on the three-wheeler in Sacramento. I'm sorry for laughing, but cops issued a warrant for his arrest. Uh, clear that up, all right? And Kim Kardashian and Kanye West bought a mansion together, a, a really cool swank mansion in a gated community in L.A. Moving kind of fast considering the fact that Kim's not even divorced yet from Chris Humphreys, but who's judging, right? Sources say they plopped down about $11 million for their love nest, complete with two pools, a gym, a hair salon, and a bunch of other stuff we normal people can only hope to have access to on perhaps maybe like a carnival vacation. Mm. Two of my favorite celebrated birthdays this week are Kelly and Mary J. Blige. Visit the Insider Report page at kmjm.com and wish them both a very happy birthday.